Easy question. What in the world should you be believing before you make that next cast? Good morning, guys and girls. June 10, June 10, reading from a Catch a Better Life book on the Catch a Better Life channel. Please subscribe to this channel. If you're not subscribed, put sugar on it. Please subscribe to this channel. This channel will absolutely make your life better. I mean, that's just all there is to it. One of the most important channels on YouTube, definitely not one of the biggest, but one of the most important because on this channel, we start the day out with a scripture from the Word of God. God's going to see that your life is better if you do that. You honor Him with one scripture every day. We have a devotional from the Catch a Better Life devotional book that I wrote built around fishing, and we have a fishing tip for every day. So your life's going to get better. You're going to become a better fisherman, a better friend, a better spouse, better daddy, mama, whatever, I'm telling you. And if you want your friends to be better, tell them to subscribe to this channel also. Catch a Better Life on YouTube, Jimmy Houston Outdoors, all capital letters, on Facebook. June 10th, the scripture today is from the book of Galatians, where Paul was writing to the Christians in Galatia. And in 6.10, Galatians 6.10, he told them, as we have opportunity, let us do good to all. As we have the opportunity, let us do good to all. Here's what I wrote about that. All of the very best places to fish, or one of the very best places to fish, is around a bridge. One of the very best places around a bridge. That's right, just a bridge. You got bridge pilings, you have riprap, you have channels, you have points, all in one little tight location. Can I tell you, I fished entire tournaments and cashed some really good checks on a single bridge bridge or two, just fishing one, one or two bridges. And uh, all of the stuff that's around that bridge is to fish. What's really cool is you can fish them from the bank. You don't even have to have a boat. You can fish those bridges from the bank without a boat. It's a smart plan to know every bridge around where you live. Know every bridge around where you live. It's also a good rule of thumb to carry a rod or two in your car or your truck to check these bridges out occasionally when you got the opportunity. When you have an opportunity, you have the chance, check those bridges out. You walk down there and make a few throws. In today's verse, Paul was telling us, you and me, to help folks every single time we can. To help them every time we can. Not just occasionally, but continually look for these opportunities. God will provide you with plenty of opportunities to help people. For us as true believers, it's not a burden. This is not a burden for us to do that. It's a privilege. It's like me taking care of Chris. It's not a burden. It's a privilege to be able to take care of her. Especially a privilege if we're helping other Christians. That's really cool when we can do that. Keep an eye out for those nearby bridges to fish. Keep an eye out. And while you're there, God just might provide you with somebody that you can help at the same time. Here's our tip for today. <laughs> what should you be thinking before you make the very next cast? Some of you might be praying before you make the very next cast. Lord, please let me catch one. No, here's what you should be thinking. Believe, believe that you're going to catch a fish on the very next cast. Believe that every single time, all day long. I'm going to catch one on this throw. I'm going to catch one on this throw. You don't need to be praying. Might be praying for a big one, okay? I'm going to catch one on this for every next throw. Lord, please make it a big one. Guys and girls, go out there and have you a great one. And remember, I sure do love you.